Hey guys, it's Joe from DIY Cold Plunge. And my goal is to share plans, products, and information that will save you thousands of dollars by building a cold plunge yourself. Let's talk really quick about stock tank selection and what might be best for you. This is a question that gets brought up a lot in my Facebook community. Things like, I'm 6'3", 240, what tank is best for me? And so I just wanna share my personal experience with these tanks and help you decide for yourself. I personally own two 100 gallon Rubbermaid stock tanks, a 150 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank, and a two by two by four, which is 100 gallon galvanized steel stock tank. And even though I fit in all of these just fine, my personal preference has been to go with the Rubbermaid stock tanks. Now, I've built more DIY cold plunges than the average Joe, and I have some experience that I just wanna speak to with that. Now, obviously the main difference between the Rubbermaid and the Galvanized is the Rubbermaid is a structural foam, and the Galvanized is steel. And the main reason here that I think the Rubbermaid wins out is just consistency. They're injection molded, so the only variation that you're going to see in the finish will be minimal. On the other hand, the steel tanks, depending on the brand, where you get them, when you get them, the actual finish on the steel isn't going to necessarily be consistent. It can be really smooth in some places, really cloudy in some places, and to me, that just speaks to the overall quality and raises some concerns about rusting because we're gonna keep water in this thing all the time. Next, we'll talk potential for leaks. The Rubbermaids are injection molded, so the only place that there should be potential for leaks is at the drain hole or wherever you drill new holes into your stock tank. On the other hand, the steel tanks will have a drain hole, but they will also have seams which have potential for leaking by nature. And many people have had to reseal these because like I said, there's been leaks in them. And last, let's talk size and selecting the best tank for you. Now, my best piece of advice here is to go Goldilocks style and visit your tractor supply, runnings, bomb guards, wherever it is that sells these stock tanks and just try them out. This is something that I've done many, many times and you're never gonna quite know what's best for you until you sit in a tank and get a feel for it. But I will say that I'm 5'9", 5'10", 190 pounds, and all three of these tanks work fine for me. And maybe you can get a good idea of what size based on just watching me climb in these tanks. Now, what I like about the Rubbermaids is that they are tapered. So a 100 gallon Rubbermaid tank will feel bigger than a 100 gallon galvanized tank, which is great for comfort, but you will have to insulate that a lot more. The steel tanks are kind of straight walled, so making an enclosure and insulating it will use less insulation than the Rubbermaid. The Rubbermaids will be consistent in size across the board. So a 100 gallon will match another 100 gallon. They're manufactured that way and they can stack inside each other. The steel tanks aren't tapered, but they're still manufactured to ship inside each other. So they could vary in size on the width and length of that tank. So if you're ordering something online, that's something to think about, that your two by two by four might not actually be two by two by four. If you have a personal preference for either the Rubbermaid or the steel tanks, drop it in the comments below. Let's see what everybody's using, what everybody prefers. Thanks for watching guys. Again, I hope this helps. Let me know what other topics you'd like me to discuss and we'll see you in the next video.